Hello Libra, welcome to your June 2019 General Horoscope Psychic Reading with me. Libra, please excuse my, um, my bed hair. I just kind of woke up, started my morning, and then I felt like it was time to talk to you Libras. So, yeah, I'm not exactly completely put together, but pff, meh, who cares, right? Felix, my adorable kitty, wanted to pop in and say hello. He's been making an appearance this month in the videos, so say hi. There we go. Bye-bye. All right, so before we dive right into your messages for June here, Libra, with the lovely tarot, I just want to mention, if you haven't yet, please do hit the subscribe button here on my channel. Keep up to date with all of the videos I have coming out and also the articles I have being published. I'm also a writer, for those of you who didn't know. Let me just like straighten my camera a little bit here, okay. So, yeah, Felix is just like down here chilling, man. <laughs> also, a couple more quick announcements, Libra. I'm doing a free giveaway this month. That is right, so I'm doing giving away two free starlight meditation rituals. Also, I've finally created a 15% off uh, coupon code that you can use for a personal reading through my Etsy shop. So, you can find that free meditation ritual gift and 15% off code below in the descriptions box. All that lovely jazz. And I'm going to move my cat again here and see if I can not get you squared away here. Alright, stay down Felix. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. We're going to shuffle about five times here. And then we're going to go ahead and pull the cards. So, Libra, right off the bat, this I can tell you, especially for you Libra risings out there. And by the way, feel free to check your rising sign. Um, this is affecting that part of your life, that part of your chart that has to do with learning, with study, with philosophy. So you might find that you're really focused on that this month in Gemini season here. Okay, philosophy, the study of philosophy, just simply studying something new. And for those of you who are traveling or thinking about traveling this month, going to a foreign land, reconnecting perhaps with some foreigners, some foreign friends, Libra, now is the time. The cards are ready here. You are being encouraged to do so. You can see really positive results by doing so this month. Also, some of you may find yourself wanting to pick up a new language. That shows up in this house with this energy as well. So, good time to study a new language. Also, Libra, there can be um, more opportunity for you when it comes to any kind of literary or publishing efforts. So if you are some kind of writer or, you know, I mean really, essentially, yeah. <laughs> if you're a writer or you're even wanting to publish photos, if you're a photographer, you know, you do art, now's the time to put yourself out there, to submit to those publishers. You can see really positive results in that area as well. So, I'm going to ask you to take a couple of deep breaths with me here, Libra. I've drawn the cards here, and I'm going to take a look at them, a look at them, and then, um, yeah, you just relax your mind, allow yourself to receive and be open to the message here. Yeah, okay, so wow. Libra, right off the bat, you know, the tarot never ceases to amaze me. At the center of your reading, you have the High Priestess. This card represents learning deeper knowledge. 
expanding your knowledge, Libra. You see, she's holding the scroll. She has the moon on top of her head. So there's definitely some, some deeper learning being asked of you. I'm hearing the words, dig deep, expand your mind. Definitely. Your intuition is really enhanced with this energy this month too, Libra. So really listen to those prods that you feel, you know, in your gut this month, for sure. And it's amazing, you have the Four of Swords sitting right underneath the High Priestess here. Very spiritual energies, these two. And so, I feel like, you know, it could be a little bit of a challenge trying to almost force yourself to be still, to take on some of these new studies, but you're definitely still being encouraged to do so. So it might be a challenge to do that, but also with these very spiritual cards, I mean, this, I mean, if you've been thinking, Libra, about doing any kind of spiritual study, you know, studying spiritual philosophy, that kind of stuff, it looks really enlightening for you. Seriously, enlightening. Exactly what you need right now. You have the Nine of Pentacles sitting at the bottom here of your reading. So spending a little bit more time alone, I'm getting with this card this month, you know, spending a little bit more time alone with your studies, with your explorations of the mind, of philosophy, whatever it is. But also, to me, this is ringing of... You're increasing your own self-value, you know, for yourself, but also in attracting others and attracting the right jobs, you know, the right clients around you. This is giving you that inner value and therefore increasing your confidence as well. It's funny, you also have strength up here next. So yeah, I mean, moving right into the month of June here, even at that June 3rd Libra, when the Gemini new moon hits, I mean, this is going to be really positive energy where a lot of this really gets kicked off for you. It really enhances. And so with the strength card, you know, this is, this is going into these new endeavors, this exploration of the mind, travel, learning, interacting with foreigners, whatever it is here. You have, you have the persistence, the strength to keep up with it, the energy to keep up with it this month. You have the courage, I'm hearing. You have the courage to put yourself out in that way. And if any of you have any kind of investments, money-making opportunities, that are in another country that you've been thinking of, you know, thinking of investing in another country. Now, now is the time to do it. Yeah, this is really, especially with these two cards following each other, it's like, mm, your, your self value has increased greatly. It's continue, continuing to increase this month. And for a lot of you Libras, it's preparing you for better business opportunities. But you have to work on that inner value first. You know, do you feel confident and comfortable with the knowledge that you have? Or, you know, are you feeling like you have a lack of knowledge, therefore lack of value? So it's, it's quite extraordinary. You have the three of wands showing up here next in the area of your present. So Libra, again, traveling, long distance travel, foreign travel. You see these ships in the background of this man going out to sea. Mm. 
it is gonna help you really expand your mind and your and your own intuition okay help you tune into your own those own um, the signs and symbols nudges that you get from your intuition from your gut the goosebumps you know And this is, you know, it's really about tapping into your, your feminine strength this month. Being receptive enough this month, Libra, to hear the messages, to take in the knowledge, to take in the experience. Mm. A lot of new downloads coming in for you with the Ace of Cups showing up next. A lot of new downloads, downloads of information, downloads of knowledge. If you've been missing some pieces of information, if you've been waiting, missing confirmation or some sort of encouragement from the universe, from your guides, you're getting it this month, especially, especially Libra, whenever we approach the Sagittarius full moon, which happens on the 17th of the month. That's going to bring you just like this downpour of inspiration. It's going to like help jolt your imagination back to life and point you in the right direction of what else you should be studying to help up your game. Especially once, you know, we step into cancer season at the end of the month. Mm. And, you know, what's really going to help you? What is going to be your personal power this month that's going to help drive you the most is the full energy here. And what does that mean exactly? It means allowing yourself to take risks, to act like you've never done something before, experience things as you never have experienced them before, looking at something with complete fresh eyes so that you can get a fresh perspective learn something new about it even if you've even if you've briefly studied it before it's about studying and learning a different side of it perhaps studying a different side to business because we have the three of pentacles showing up right above this studying a different side of business. Perhaps you have been the employee for a long time, and now it's time for you to step up into leadership, Libra, and become the employer. Or, you know, vice versa. Taking away some responsibility, or becoming your own boss. That kind of fresh intake is being asked of you, Libra. And, and definitely, you know, with the fool, it is about risks. It is about risks. And sure, it may even seem foolish, Libra. The decision, the route that you may want to take this month, you may logically just feel like this is, this is unlogical, you know, this, this doesn't make sense, but you really feel with your intuition here that it is the right move, and that is what you are being encouraged to do, to follow. Now, this is in the position, the three of pentacles here, of others around you, Libra, others are here looking at your work, especially going into cancer season around the 21st of the month. Your, what you are putting out right now, especially in the workplace, your creative projects, endeavors here. For a lot of you, I mean, you're getting new employment opportunities, new job opportunities. You're being commissioned, some of you, to do a new project, to build something new with someone. Mm-hmm. 
your skill is being recognized. And like I said, a lot of you, it's positive and you're being commissioned. You're being asked to do something with it. And it's exciting. You have the lovers showing up here next. I love this. Beautiful seeing here, especially in regards to business partnerships and the harmony, the beautiful harmon harmonious flow of those coming up. But relationships in general, you know, it's, it's sitting close to the Ace of Cups here too. I mean, emotional connection is pretty strong for you this month, Libra. Okay, so you can find yourself really expanding um, your relationships. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Now, it's interesting. You have the Five of Cups coming up at the end here. I'm hearing the words fear of a loss. There's some sort of fear that is creeping up. Fear that you might lose something. Fear that you might lose this opportunity that you're being commissioned to do. Fear that you might fall out of favor with this relationship here, the lovers. And that's what I'm getting. It's essentially just a fear. And, you know, obviously you want to be careful not to manifest that. But the beautiful thing about the Five of Cups here is that all you have to do, Libra, is just turn around. <laughs> you know, your mind might be fixated on whatever it is you're worrying about, but if you just change your outlook, turn around and see these, these other people behind you, these connections that are here supporting you, that have your back, that have this man's back here, then you'll recognize, oh, I'm just fine. It's just a little bit of anxiety. It's just a little bit of fear. Now I'm going to go ahead and get some clarity, draw one more card just for clarity with this. I'm going to be sure to get all, of, all the details we can, Libra. Oh wow, that was fast. <laughs> Here we go. Oh wow, Queen of Cups. Mm. Yeah, so... This is about mastering your emotions, especially in Cancer season which is no surprise, Cancer is a water sign. And so you're being asked to not be too hard on yourself, allow yourself to feel through this, to experience some of this disappointment and just experience the feelings as they come, but recognize that it, it's not permanent. And it's about, like I said, really, especially since you have the High Priestess here as well. You know, you've got the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess. So it's about mm, mastering, mastering your emotional state, mastering your emotions. Okay, wow, wow, wow. You know, mastering them so that your emotions don't overpower and get in the way of seeing things reasonably with clarity. Yeah, and you know, it, it, I'm getting, it could be a Gemini, could be a Gemini who is coming in here to kind of invigorate you, help you to hope and dream again in really big ways, but they're kind of deterring your practical thinking. You know, what, what is actually reality. But I, I, I get that they're helping you, Libra, this month, especially towards the end, like I said. They're helping you really 
embrace the emotional side of you that sometimes you bury. And really helping em help embolden you. Help embolden you so that you can embody love and relationships. See the best in partnerships again. Helping bring you back that emotional balance that you need within your relationships. Yeah. It's extraordinary. I mean, the air signs surrounding you as your little helpers are pretty strong here. Gemini and also with the full here, uh, Aquarius. So pay attention to those signs, Libra, this month. They could be your little helping hand. Beautiful. I really like this for you guys. Awesome stuff coming up. So Libra, that really concludes it here. Let me know in the comments below how this manifests for you. How this is showing up in your reality. So just comment away, share with us, share with me. And don't forget about your 15% off coupon code that you can use for a personal reading in my Etsy shop. And the free gift, the free starlight meditation rituals, all below in the descriptions box. Have a fantastic month, Libra, and I will see you in the next video.